Would you ever run for president? No. Worst job in America. I'd like to build a new system that gets rid of the need for a presidency. Peer-to-peer YubiKey update? Uh, yeah, peer-to-peer is coming. Um, John Woods will say something about that. As for YubiKey, um, I assume you mean the YubiKey for Daedalus, and that's definitely something we're going to roll into the Light Wallet project. It's been a big passion of mine for a very, very, very long time. Yeah, I see this. Uh, Musk is definitely the stupid person's idea of a smart person. So there are some videos on YouTube that make that case, and I don't think that's uh, that's true. He's a smart person. He's not a super genius. You know, a super genius is like Eric Domain or Terry Tao, uh, and it's very rare, and it's, it's exceedingly uh, – you see it in just raw problem-solving ability and creativity output. But the skill set that Musk is a sovereign in is his ability to translate an idea of a future, whether that's original or not, is completely beside the point. An idea of a future to the mainstream and convince them that he's the proper shepherd to take that idea and get it done through some black box. Okay, the, the mainstream doesn't really care about the scientific nuances or the problem solving capabilities. They just are confident. And so any person who has that ability, if they know how to harness it in a capital market sense, uh, will get billions of dollars. Now, if the intent is ethical, uh, they end up um, basically building great things over a period of time. If it's unethical, you end up like Elizabeth Holmes with uh, Theranos. So you can definitely go in different directions, but it's a very rare skill set that Steve Jobs had and Musk has and Holmes has and so forth. And it's really just the target and the will and the time horizon and how long they can keep the show going while they're building to that time horizon. And if what they're chasing is actual solvable, it will get solved. Uh, great leaders do this. You know, JFK says, we are going to go to the moon. That was the original scam because at the time he said it, there was no capacity in the United States to actually guarantee that it was going to get done in 10 years. It required superhuman effort uh, to actually get us through the Apollo program, and we barely got it done, you know, 69. Uh, super, superhuman effort. So, uh, you know, Musk has that same ability, and, um, and if he's caged right and focuses it right and surrounded by people that ground him in some form of reality that's achievable, uh, then uh, it will be enormously beneficial to humanity. Where it gets dangerous is when promises and commitments are made for things that aren't necessarily achievable or they're just frankly very dangerous. I'd say of all the ventures he has, Neuralink is probably the closest to that in that respect. Um, drilling holes in people's brains and putting implantable medical devices. This is uh, the most invasive thing you can do, and it's the most dangerous thing you can do for humans in a certain respect. And so there has to be an enormous level of caution, ethics, and wisdom. You can't put that on a Silicon Valley, we're going to move fast and break things mindset. That's something that's a multi-generational, multi-decade endeavor that you gradually build up to. Uh, and, uh, and so the same things that built Tesla, I don't think are good to apply to Neuralink. It has to be done in a very different way. And I'd argue in a completely open source way as well because of the nature of the technology. 